Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today we're going to scrap ships for major profit because we're going to be checking out Ship Graveyard Simulator 2. Now, we did play through the first uh, of this series on the channel. You guys seem to really enjoy it. I liked the majority of the game. I didn't like how specific the extractions were, though. You had to, you know, take off a specific pipe or something like that. I thought going into it would be the full ships. Now, I did play the tech demo for this game, uh, around Christmas time, and it does look like the ships are going to be fully able to be destroyed now, which uh, is going to be huge for me. I'm super excited to check this out, see if it's any good. And yes, we're playing the prologue today, by the way. So uh, yeah, I don't know how long this is going to be. Uh, but yeah, I love the first game. I hope this game builds upon that game and makes it a little bit more realistic. Okay, and we're going to start off by doing a very basic tutorial. So we have, I mean, I wouldn't even call it a ship. It's, you know, crumbs of a ship, if you will, over here. And I think it's just going to kind of teach us how this works. I will say, wow, the graphics look fantastic in this game. All right, yeah, I don't know what the hell this thing is, but I would not consider that a ship at all. Okay, uh, new quest. All right, so first of all, we pick up any of the furniture. This is automatically cash, it looks like. So gladly, I will take that. Oh, I guess it isn't. We probably still have to sell it. All right, so yeah, we just got to throw it to our truck. Oh my God. That's so over the top. I love it. Okay, perfect. That's going to make this really, really quick. I like that. All right, so that's it for all the um, non-structural pieces. Now we get into the fun stuff, and this is actually what I believe I destroyed in the tech demo of this game, and it got me really excited for this because, yeah, we are actually breaking everything, as you can see. Uh, so we basically have to break the foundations of them. I think by hitting these, maybe? I don't know. It's been a while. Yeah, so you hit the circles. Once all connection points are destroyed, it should... Uh, I gotta press rest, uh, right mouse button to break it. And then we're like literally scrapping everything. So super excited to see how in-depth this goes. I'm hoping we can get to a ship today, obviously, because don't get me wrong, this is cool, but I want to scrap a whole damn ship. All right, and there we go. A full wall has been destroyed. We still have to destroy a lot of other parts. So I kind of want to see if we can topple some of this down. Oh! Oh, I didn't realize. Okay, I thought it was still connected to the ground, but I guess uh, joints do have strength because uh, those joints must have broke. Well, that was easy. Now I got lots of scrap. <laughs> All right, so now we learn about red connectors, and that's going to need the, the uh, welding torch or burner, I guess. That should be inside the walls. I don't think I've actually seen any of those. Ah, there's one. Okay, so it took me a while to find one, but yes, inside the walls we have heavier support beams, obviously, and... Oh, uh, we do have to actually melt through it. Cool. Okay, and that scared me a bit, but there we go. Now we can just break it and break it. Thank you. All right, well, I guess we're done with this. So it wants me to go use the computer now. That was uh, really, really fun. Can I actually drive this? No, I don't I don't get a truck yet. From what I remember, you used to get a truck right at the start, in the start of the first game. Oh, so we can get contracts now. This guy wants some low alloy steel as well as a metal rack, which I've already gotten. And uh, I guess that's just a way to get extra money. Cool. Oh, and we can drive the truck. We have to sort through our metal now. Uh, so maybe it's going to be more in depth in terms of recycling. Okay, so yeah, now I can use the truck. I couldn't use it before. Okay, good. All right, so yeah, recycling here. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, hello. Oh my god, is this a mini game? Oh, it is. What the hell am I doing? Hold on. Hold on, green. Oh god, okay, I, I think I get it. I think I get it. <laughs> this is so weird. I do like that you have to sort your scrap, though. This is kind of cool. All right, so there we go. We gained, is that 40 cents? Did I just get 40 cents with all that? 259 kgs and I got 40 cents. Wait, I think it's just combo money bonus. I don't think that's all of it. I hope. I don't know. I have $85 to my name, so maybe I did only get 40 cents. All right, and that is the tutorial in a nutshell. We do own a scrapyard now. Yay. Uh, I guess we can kind of do our own thing now. All right, just meeting some of the local residents. We have the um, upgrade guy. So, yeah, this game does is built on upgrades. I don't know what the money thing is. This is a bank. Oh, this must be the things that I have, actually. So, I guess I didn't sell the metal earlier. I just sorted it. And now I can sell it. Total bat value, $25.89. Are you sure you want to sell? Sure, I don't care. Yeah, okay, so this is where we actually sell. I don't know. I'm still very much learning as I go, obviously. All right, so we can technically scrap this thing if we want to, but we may as well just get some more metal off of it, and then I'm assuming we can get an actual ship. Uh, is this going to fall? How is this staying on? Oh, is it literally just this one piece? 
Oh, there's a whole wall here. Okay, maybe it is well set in place. But if I destroy this, there we go. Oh, that saved me so much time. Oh, this is so satisfying. So it looks like the weight even broke some of the floors you can see. So having that weight system makes it so if you do crush things on top of other things, it's going to make uh, the actual extraction a lot faster. So there is like light strategy to this, which is really, really cool. I'm glad I came back here instead of to destroy this whole thing because it should give us a lot of money too. for hopefully upgrades. All right, here is the final of the major ground beams. So it hasn't taken me a crazy amount of time to actually scrap this whole thing. It's actually really, really easy to do. Uh, the only downside is I don't think I can do the external walls, which gets me worried. That means we maybe can't scrap the external walls of ships or we need to get an upgrade or something. I really hope it's that, but it could also be that, uh, yeah, you just can't take down the external walls, unfortunately. All right, I think the foundation is done. So there we go. Look at that chain reaction. That's super satisfying when you do it all at once. All right, there we go. It's as scrapped as we can get it, I believe. Yeah, the rest of this stuff is just here. Oh, I missed a beam, but that's about it. Okay, let's move on and see if we can get a ship now. Well, actually, first, we should probably recycle this and sell it. I actually don't know if I'm going to sell it. I might just store it for a little bit until I figure out kind of how the contracts work and everything. I would like to do the contracts, obviously, as well. This might take a while. I don't know if this is the same amount of scrap every time or if I have to actually deal with all the scrap that I just got. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know if I should be doing the boost, but that is super satisfying. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Got all perfects. So, yeah, the majority of it was obviously metal, but we got equipment as well. I don't really know what that means, but that's cool. All right. I definitely want to get some upgrades. First thing first, uh, hammer is definitely going to be the most useful. Uh, I'm going to use the saw a lot as well. I think we might even want to do the hammer again, but let's just save some of our money again. I don't want to spend my scrap in case I need it for something. Because, yeah, all that scrap I just got is only worth $32. So money is going to be hard to come by in this game. So let's not jump too far ahead of ourselves and uh, save some of it just in case we need it. All right, so first and foremost, we need to scrap this. And now we can finally get on to the Blue Lagoon. Oh, you. It's $75. I have $73.34. I guess I shouldn't have bought my upgrades. Yeah, I don't have enough money. Okay, I'm going to go sell a small amount of scrap to even afford this. I forgot I have to buy the boats. This is why I'm really glad I didn't buy more upgrades. I don't know what I would have done. All right, so we'll sell $8.50 worth. And we'll keep the rest for later. All right, here we go. Ship delivery. My first legit ship. Super excited to find this out. There isn't a cutscene like the first game. That was actually a really cool cutscene. I'm kind of bummed they didn't do that. All right, we have a bunch of different scraps to uh, deal with. This guy wants acid of all things. That's a little shady. Um, but yeah, it looks like we can just collect like actual items for these guys as well. So hopefully some of this ship has some of those. All right, but yeah, this is a lot bigger. I don't know if I like this or not. I'm kind of overwhelmed. I just want to see if we can scrap the whole thing. Is it missing the back still? So yeah, it looks like they ripped off the back of the ship. I guess someone else bought the back of it. But yeah, this is obviously much, much bigger. And it does look like we can actually destroy the whole thing, as you can see. Uh, so this is going to be fantastic. All right, so I think what I'm going to do first is go around, grab any of the items that are around just to clean up this. And then we'll start working. I think I'm going to go uh, do the same thing as my tutorial and just take out the bottom foundation and hopefully everything falls with it. Uh, should I be alarmed by that? E to shut down power. Okay. I guess that's safe to do. All right. Well, finding lots of items, but not finding the contract <laughs> items. Washing machine, sofa and everything. I'm assuming living quarters are going to be a little bit higher up. Um, We need a toilet. I have a toilet now. Oh, I found a stove. Do I need a stove? No, we just need a washing machine. Uh, we're, well, we're getting closer. Can I throw through this? <laughs> oh my god, I can. Nice. Use dynamite to destroy. I don't have dynamite, but that gets me excited. Okay, I think this is the top. Is this... Oh, where are the sofas? Wait, is that a sofa? Yes, found the sofa. Switch tools to call crane. Wait, this is a crane call? Get off the craneable element. What are you freaking talking about? All right, so I guess I have to open the roof to crane this thing out, but that's going to be cool to see that. Um, does that thing have a washing machine in it? Oh, there they <laughs> Timing. The timing is great. Okay, I found them. I didn't see that uh, small room over there. 
Come on, washing machine and dryer. There we go. So all I need now is one more first aid kit and a crap load of wood. We should definitely get the wood. I don't know where the first aid kit would be, but I clearly missed something else. Not too worried about it. I guess we're going to start... Oh, I don't even know how I want to do this. Again, I'm going to have to take off the whole bottom foundation if I want to drop this whole thing. And I still feel like that's the best option, but it's not going to be a fast one. Okay, and about 40 minutes later, I have gotten rid of all of the bottom floor walls. Now, we still have these supports. I think I'm going to go try and sell some of this stuff and upgrade my grinder, though. Because, uh, yeah, this took way longer than expected. And I'm thinking if we get rid of all these foundations... Uh, I'm hoping it will fall. Mind you, there is these uh, main pieces that I cannot destroy. So I don't even know if I can make this thing fall. I did see that it says not unlocked on the sidewall, though. So that tells me that uh, you actually can get rid of the sidewalls. Uh, just unfortunately, I do not have that l unlocked yet. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try and go get some upgrades because uh, we have a lot in our inventory right now. And yeah, anything I can do to make this a little bit faster, that would be great because these tools are slow. All right, and after selling everything, I have 150 bucks. So yeah, I'm going to buy saw blueprint level three and hammer level three will also buy burner level one. I don't even know what chest is. Um, and gloves, pickup speed. Okay. Oh, this is capacity. We'll upgrade that as well. So we have at least level two on everything now. All right, let's see if this upgrade was worth it. Wow, still extremely slow. I have to do this twice for every one of these. So this is going to take a while. Okay, I wanted to give this the best chance possible, so I also disconnected the whole sides. Um, I, for the record, I don't think this is going to work, but I think it's worth the effort if it does work, because it doesn't look, if you can see here, there's a line all the way through this, except for here. Um, this might not be connected, and if that's the case, this whole thing is going to fall when I get rid of these two poles, because everything, including the outside, is gone now. We just have the main scaffolding and then these two little poles. Don't know why I decided to have the final two poles in the middle of the thing, because I'm going to die if this thing crushes on me. But uh, yeah, that's kind of how I planned it out. I'm not very smart. But yeah, I highly doubt this is going to work. I did see that we can call in to get this extracted, though. Uh, it says doesn't have all connectors destroyed. I did destroy these, so that tells me there's some maybe underneath the paneling here or on the second floor. Regardless, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so I was able to get this one. So it turns green. At least we know that that happens. Now, what the hell is going on? Is he controlling the crane? Oh, this is so cool. I wish it was in the middle of the night. I think he's bringing it down. It's hard to say. It's very, very slow. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Goodbye. Okay, so yeah, we, we can do that. I just got to figure out where the tie points are on this thing then. Okay, how does that work? This thing... <laughs> Oh, this makes me even more worried. I thought this would be physics-based. Clearly, it's not, because this is not attached to anything, and it's a floating platform. So that tells me I can't just knock this whole thing down and save time. That being said, I've uh, opened up both sides of this. For whatever reason, the only thing I can't destroy is this. So that tells me that's probably why I can't ship this thing off. So yeah, I guess we got to go to the second floor now and maybe knock down that wall. And yeah, that's just a huge bummer. I was really hoping to, you know take out the foundations and save a lot of time uh, extracting these resources. Maybe if I get rid of the um, cargo thing, it might be okay. I don't know, but this is going to take a lot longer to extract than I thought. So yeah, if we take off these things and maybe take off this cargo container, it might all fall. It's just kind of waiting for this to go away. I have no idea. All right, so at least we can call the crane. That should be a really good payday, and that's going to be a lot of metal. All right, goodbye, giant container. Does it go over to the recycling plant? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that still didn't make this thing fall. Oh, there is something that's connecting these two together. I was getting very confused. As you can see, I have extracted everything around this. How did I not see that it's combined in the middle? So we got to melt this small beam. And then after that, I think we can finally get rid of this massive scaffolding. Okay, and there we go. Now, did I get rid of it all? Oh, I still missed a piece over here. Come on. There we go. Now smack it. And can I call it now? Yes. Oh, that is huge. All right. I feel like we're finally getting somewhere in this game. This is going to be worth a lot. The big piece is obviously the engine. I don't know if I can actually take that out yet. It says not unlocked. Uh, same thing as the sides. So that tells me that I can't take those yet. Because if you can't pick them up, it says something else. 
All right, there we go. Thank you, Recycling Plant. That was a rough one to get. 150 kgs of iron. Not really sure it was worth it, uh, but it was fun to try and figure that out. Oh, you know what? I think we actually can take the engine out. It just says Element doesn't have all connectors destroyed. So if these are destroyed, which I believe we need not the sledgehammer, the grinding thing for, perfect. Okay, the engine should be the biggest piece of this. Uh, we're obviously going to have to take off the roof, though, which is like three or four floors. So this is probably going to be a big job. Well, this sure was a much bigger project than expected. <laughs> There's just so much rubble everywhere, and I'm still nowhere near. Like, I have to basically take off this whole ship just to get the engine out. So we got what? Two? Oh, my God. Two more floors? I think this is probably connected to it. Um... Yeah, this is this is a big project, but honestly, as you can see, we can see sky now, so I feel like we're close. Okay, I think after this, I'm gotta be getting close. This has been like a five-day job. Are you serious? What is going on? Crane cannot reach the load. Oh, it actually shows me. Okay, so it's that wall. Okay, I think we got everything here. Let's see. Can we finally call it? Nope. Um, it might... Huh. Is it because of all the junk around? Because now it's... I mean, there's not much here. <gasps> yes! Okay, there was a few metal beams on the side of this, and that was it. Okay, I was worried I'd have to, like, take off the walls or something, but it does look like the crane can indeed get in here. So there we go. We got the engine. Oh, that was uh, well over an hour of just breaking the roof, so it does take a long time to do this, but... Uh, honestly, way better than the first game and absolutely fantastic. I feel like you actually do get to scrap these things now and we can indeed crane these off. Uh, we just need to destroy these uh, connectors so you can take apart the whole ship. Okay, and there goes the engine. Oh, I'm curious to see how much this thing's going to weigh because that is by far the biggest piece in this. And now, well, we have a shell of a ship left to do. Still a few decent pieces here. Uh, but mostly it's just scrap. All right, give me the big money. The big money. 100 kg, 50, 80, and 15 of gold. 15 kgs of gold in an engine. I wonder why. I'm not complaining because that is huge. Uh, I'm not sure how I did this, but I have an L stick up on my mouse. Can I grab it? <laughs> I should mention we are in the prologue right now, so the game's still very much being developed, but I was super excited for this, so I thought we would check get out early what is this go away all right guys but i think it's a good time to wrap up this first episode here uh yeah didn't expect the prologue to be so in depth i don't know if we'll do another episode if you guys want to see more let me know in the comments below and maybe we'll uh finish scrapping up this thing or we'll just wait for the full release of the game and uh get into the main aspect of the game regardless i'm really excited for when this comes out now uh absolutely fantastic a huge upgrade from the original game and uh, yeah, excited to scrap some massive ships if you guys are enjoying this, of course. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.